Hey, what's happening? How you doing? <laughs> Here we are today, day two, drum lessons. Uh, it's Thursday, uh, June 28th, and it's 12.30 in the afternoon here on the West Coast and somewhat sunny Seattle. And they say it's supposed to rain today, but I don't know. Let me fix this camera angle because it looks all funny. Yeah, let's see this. Is that better? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's all new stuff to me, man. It's all very new. There. No, just make sure you can see the pad. <laughs> okay, all right, looks like we're good. You can see me, you can see the pad. We're rocking. Okay, so, like I said, what we're going to talk about today is the four basic drum strokes. And, uh... This is a very simple sort of exercise. I'm going to break down the four strokes for you. And it ain't rocket science, it's just simple mechanics. Uh, a couple of pointers you want to start with. Use wrist motions. See the way I'm moving my wrist like this? All my fingers are on the stick. Nice and tight. Not tight, but they're firmly attaching the stick to my hand. If we want to get better linkage, between the stick and the hand, this is where it starts, is in the mechanics. So, the first stroke is going to be a full stroke. Starts high, ends high. Full. Like that. Full. Right hand, full. Full. You can practice full strokes like this. And they should kind of give you a stretch. You don't want to go too fast starting these out because your inclination may be to fly your fingers out like this. That's going to be detrimental. When you fly your fingers out like that, when you pull your fingers in, look how much angle I've got there. Not much. You want that. You want this to be. Make sure your stick's in somewhat of a straight line with your arm. And uh, anyways, uh, full strokes like this. Okay, so as quickly as you get down, you need to get back up. That's full stroke. Here's a down stroke. Starts high, ends low. Down, down. Being able to play them at a very low stick height. If you can get about an inch over the head, you'll be doing good. It's about what you want. Because this is your real low dynamic right here. Okay, so finally, the last stroke in that succession is the upstroke. So upstroke, like that. Upstroke starts low and ends high. It's a very quiet stroke, but it ends up high, like that. So, if you would like to play all of them in succession, there's a very simple pattern that you can use. And it's too loud and too quiet. So if you're thinking eighth notes, it's just basically two four. So it would be... Uh, too loud and then too quiet. So it's a full down tap up, full down tap up, full down tap up, full down tap up, full down tap up. Too loud, too quiet. And this was kind of, you know, first thing in the day for me picking up drums. And I'm not really that quick right now, so don't judge me. <laughs> anyway, that's the exercise. Um, if you'd like to go farther into these, I recommend... Uh, Say Accents and Rebounds by George Lawrence Stone. It was the sequel to Stick Control, and it's one of my favorite books. Um, Gary Chafee wrote a lot on these particular subjects. The Sticking Patterns book from the Patterns series would be the book to get for that. And uh, if you have any questions about uh, this kind of stuff, I really 
kind of implore you to get an instructor uh, who's competent, uh, who knows, you know, about mechanics. Because when you boil down to it, mechanics are the thing that really uh, drive drumming. We have basically, well, a hand drummer, you know, it's kind of like, there's no linkage involved. You're one to one, you're one on one with that skin, with your hands. But because we're drummers and stick players, we have to create this linkage. And the linkage is the one thing that separates you from the drumstick. And your ideas start in your brain, they come down, you know, they filter through your heart, they come out your limbs. And when it gets to this point right here, it's got to make the jump from being an idea in your head to going out into this device. The device that was once a living thing that was bigger than any of us. It was a tree, right? It's a piece of wood. Think of the spirit that this piece of wood holds. How many things did it see, right? I mean, this thing's got more life experience than a lot of people. <laughs> it's kind of cool if you think about it. So the thing is, is that the sticks, they allow for your thoughts and your energy to progress forward and uh, travel down and, and make contact with the instrument. So the better that your linkage is between the stick and the hand, it's going to, you know, it just the, the more effortless that it can become, then that's going to make you a better drummer. Okay, and I'm going to throw in one bonus thing. Uh, here's how to fix your paradiddles uh, using the down, up, and tap strokes. So. Paradiddles, if you go with a uh, right and left hand up, here's one hand down, one hand up, and switch them. Switch, 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 like that. This is basically what I call polarity. You're switching one and you're going to the other side. It's a polarity thing. Okay, so if I go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Let's examine those strokes. Got a down stroke. Got an up stroke and a tap. Down, up, 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 tap. You see what's happening? I'm switching my polarity here, going from left to right, and I'm doing it in kind of like uh, one motion. Now, in order to get a paradiddle out of that, because you're going, that's not a paradiddle. <laughs> I don't know if you are or not, but. Yeah. I digress. Um, paradiddles, all you have to do is add one extra tap stroke. Down, up, tap, tap. 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 See how effortless that becomes? And just be relaxed. And you kind of let the mechanics sort of dictate everything that's happening under your hands. So you're not having to think about, you know, right, uh, 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 I'm thinking, Right, left, 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 right. I'm playing four times as fast as I'm thinking. Efficiency, man, that's where it's at. So, if you want to get your paradiddles, all your rudiments together, all that good stuff, these four basic strokes pull, down, tap, up. Pull, down, tap, up. Those basic strokes are the way to doing it. And once again, if you're having trouble with these, go slow. If it's still not working, find an instructor because somebody who can walk you through it and literally come over there and grab your hands and say, no, 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 you're doing it like this. You know, that's really kind of what you need. So that's going to be the short drum lesson for today. How about that? Yeah. Um, so I guess you could probably, you know, Play a little bit or something, yeah. Um, oh, look, there's some brushes. <laughs>
Okay, so short drum lesson. Over.